Hello, Rip and Chip community. We're opening up uh, the Brothers War Jumpstart Booster Box. We're going to see if Wizards has improved this product at all since the Dominar United Jumpstart Box, which uh, unfortunately I don't think they have. We're opening this up for singles for Moonshot Game Store here in Noblesville, Indiana. None of the singles will be available for sale until the 11th of November, which is pre-release day. Um, they will be available at that time if you'd like to go to Moonshot Game Store dot com and uh, see what's available for sale so there you go you get 18 packs out of this you're supposed to technically open two shuffle them together and play uh, but this is the first ever jumpstart booster i've opened since they've become part of the standard set so let's see what we get here starting out with an infantry pack uh, we have thopter architect warlords elite so it looks like they decided to move the rares to the back which honestly is probably smart after original jumpstart rescue retriever this card is so cool. Um, it's the dog that when it comes into play, it has flash. Prevent all damage will be dealt to other attacking soldiers, and all your soldiers get a plus one, plus one counter. So that's actually pretty cool. Takasi is welcome. Uh, but because it's a jumpstart card, it'll also show up in collector boosters. There's a foil planes and a foil plane. So you don't even get a full art land. Wow. I would have thought you would have got a full art land in every pack, but uh, I guess I didn't read. What's in these? Titanic for green. So we'll see what's in the Titanic pack. Sadly, it is not a sinking ship. Wood collar automaton rare. Gwenna, eyes of Gaia rare. So it seems like there are two rares in every pack. So that's good news. Uh, but I totally would have expected to get one of the mech lands, and you totally don't. What a bummer. One of the ways they could have made these at least somewhat cool because mech lands only come in one and four of the set packs got another infantry uh so one of the rares in these is pretty standard rescue retriever looks like it's it and then kayla's command the other one comes from a list of monocolor rares of that color that they thought would go good in these decks um i think each color has two different decks they both have the same theme name i think uh, but they have different commons and uncommons and then the random rare power stones is the blue version uh, let's see what our rare or mythic is. Geology Enthusiast and Terizian Mindbreaker. Uh, I think there is a cycle of the artifacts. Wow, and it's all the same. I guess that land is technically... No, they're all just Brothers War lands, basic lands. That is disappointing. Um, but you saw it first here, so you know whether you would like the Jumpstart product or not. Unearth... Really, this did replace Theme Boosters, so it's not too high of a standard to beat. Uh, Terror Ballista, rare. Hostile Negotiations, rare. Um, yeah, I really think they could have put a mech land in here at the least. But it is what it is. Uh, Welded is the red theme here. Mishra Uncommon in there. Makes sense. Artificer's Dragon and Mechanized Warfare, rare. Uh, and then your lands. I'm so used to looking for misprinted lands in regular jumpstart that I still do it here, despite the fact that the lands are nothing special to look at. No special jumpstart land. Another Titanic pack. We're just going to skip through here real quick till we get to the rares and mythics. Woodcaller Automaton in Titania's Command. Uh, there are lands there in the back. Plenty of them. See what else we can pull out of this jumpstart box. Another infantry pack. Have we hit all the colors? We've hit red, white, blue... Black and green. Rescue Retriever and Siege Veteran for your rares out of the white pack. So Rescue Retriever looks like it is the default white one. I do think that card's cool, but with it being literally in every white jumpstart pack, plus in collector packs as well, I don't think that's going to be holding any value. We have Geology Enthusiast and Hercule Master Wizard. Uh, unfortunately, Geology Enthusiast and the uh, artifact creatures that are in the other three decks will hold the same value. Unearth. We have Terra Ballista and Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Wow, that's a pretty good hit out of the black pack, I think. I think that uh, card is going to be a lot of fun to see. A little bit of a miscut swamp there, but nothing too crazy. Definitely over halfway done with the box. Uh, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger is a pretty good hit out of the black pack. I think that card is going to be a lot of fun. Artificer Dragon and Skitter Beam Battalion. So... Got another mythic there. That one can be really fun as well. 
definitely think the prototype cards have a lot of uh, fun ways to play them. You can play them early or play them late, which will be great in draft. Probably great in jumpstart, too, to be honest, if you're just smashing packs and playing. Woodcaller Tomaton and Fade from History. It'd be cool if you could get that uh, green mythic where you get to make a bunch of one wood dryad for us. Maybe we can see that in one of these packs. That'd be pretty cool, right? Y'all enjoy the video. If you could do me a huge favor, hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers. Rescue Retriever and Siege Veteran again. Um, we do live stream Monday and Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time. If you'd like to buy packs, you, we uh, sell packs, open them up on stream, then ship you the cards. Another Power Stones here. I think Urza's probably in this, right? Yep, Urza Power Stone Prodigy, the Uncommon. Geology Enthusiast in Urza's Command. Uh, but yeah, you can also check out MoonshotGameStore.com. They do sell sealed that they can ship to you. Uh, they also sell singles, gaming accessories, all sorts of fun stuff. If you are in the Indianapolis area, we are north of Indianapolis in Noblesville, Indiana. Terrible and Gix, Yagamoth Praetor. Wow, that's a great hit out of black too. These black packs can be good, chat. Uh, maybe there is some value in these after all. We'll have to see where prices end up. I've not seen any pre-release pricing at all, so I have no clue what is what. Artificer's Dragon and Tyrant of Care Ridges. Got all of our lands. Two packs to go. So uh, this is what you can expect from a Jumpstart box. I don't know if it's good or bad. You can be the judge of that. But uh, with only five themes, that's hard. Woodcolor Automaton and Teething Wormlet. Bunch of basic lands to go in the bulk bin, unless you're playing. So really, I feel like this is a product for new players, uh, or if you can get it really cheap, a product to open for fun. Geology enthusiasts and arcane proxy mythics. So you can get some pretty cool mythics out of these, but uh, overall, I think I would personally sit stick to set or collector packs if it was me. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next video.